Uh, yesterday, I don't know if you saw the cover going around of New York Magazine. Um, do we have it here? It is the New York Magazine cover, Mocking MAGA Women. Um, and what does that headline say? Pat, I can't read it from here. Mm. Are Republican women okay? I think it was. Yeah. And it's this this whole story about Republican women and, uh, you know, questioning them. New York Magazine, it, don't mm. lecture us on women. Don't. Uh, I mean, you know, you know what your idea of a woman is? Could we please play the cut from the White House? Cut mm-hmm. 28, please. Welcome today, everyone, to the White House. I'd like to briefly answer mm-hmm. some questions. Go ahead, I'm ready. JVN. Oh, yes. yes. Is it true that is all your natural hair? <laughs> yes, I can confirm that this is not a wig. Thank Follow-up so question. Do you extension. use your own products? I do use JVN so, hair. Actually, stop. So this is the queer eye, uh, you know... For the straight guy. The queer thing. eye guy. Yeah, mm-hmm. for the straight guy thing. Um, and, you know, fine. Um, but he did a video with the vice president. Here he is standing behind the podium at the White House. Mm-hmm. And then he does a deal with the vice president where he knocks on her door and she opens it up in the in the uh, West Wing. And she's like, hello. And he's like, surprise. And they come in. <laughs> he's wearing a dress and heels and everything else. Don't lecture me about women. Uh-huh. Don't. Don't. You have no idea. You, your own Supreme Court justice said you couldn't identify a woman. So don't tell me how the, the right, uh, just the women, there's something wrong with the women who are, you know, voting for MAGA. You don't even, you can't identify a woman. So shut the pie hole. Okay, now that I have that off my chest, Um, there's uh, something else that yesterday, um, the the lies that just keep continuing, that we all know are lies, and I I just am so anxious to see how all this works out uh, this this fall, because we're either going to recognize lies and start standing for the truth or not, but here's Joe Biden yesterday talking about mass amnesty. The actions I'm announcing today will go into effect later this summer. And by the way, just as was true for the protection of dreamers, the steps I'm taking today are overwhelmingly supported by the American people, no matter what the other team says. No, no, no. no. Mass amnesty? They do not. No, overwhelmingly bl- blanket. Support. Nope. No. It is quite the opposite. In fact, nearly six in ten voters, including a third of Democrats and nine out of ten Republicans endorse mass deportation of illegals not making them citizens we want to send them home the american people overwhelmingly favor send them home close the border or at least secure it you know let's let's please stop the flood across the border unbelievable it's absolutely unbelievable yeah the lies really Um, are Really are Yeah, now let me give you another lie. This one also coming from the White House yesterday. Here's KJP on the deficit. This president has a strong agenda uh, and uh, to reduce the deficit. You hear him talk mm. about this very often. Instead of blowing it up, uh, again, by extending the Trump tax cuts, which would cost $5 trillion, $5 no. trillion. No, they would not. Uh, while the last administration increased the debt by a record $8 trillion and didn't sign a single law to reduce the, the deficit. Oh, uh, and what we have done, what this president has done, he has signed legislation to reduce the <laughs> deficit by $1 trillion uh, since oh my taking gosh. office. That's what he's Stop. Been able to- Stop. It's hard to take. We just it? got the CBO today or yesterday afternoon. They came out and said, mm-hmm. we're adding another $400 billion to the already out of control one and a half billion, a uh, trillion dollar deficit this year, right. which will bring it up to uh, $1.9 trillion in deficit this year. And they said if Joe Biden goes through with the rest of his student loan thing, it will be a cool $2 trillion. So don't talk to me about how you've reduced the deficit. How, how are you reducing the deficit when it's growing? I, I don't even... I mean, <laughs> I, The I, lies, again, it's just they just stand there. And bald face lie in, uh, to us every day, every day. And 
And then we sit here and we we listen to them lie to us about how Ukraine's ready to win the war. Yeah. No, they're, no, yeah. they're not. No. It's, it's. I mean. And I love how I, the, the the tax cut is costing us. It's costing us five trillion. Yeah, if our all our money belongs to you to begin with, it costs five trillion. That's not your money to begin with, so it doesn't cost you anything. Right. It's just it's just money you're not going to receive. Get right. it from and somewhere else. So what else. do you do when when you lose money? When you've lost money because the employer says, "Yeah, I got to cut your salary." What do you do? I that. stop spending as much. Right. Don't you spend. Cut, yeah. You cut back mm-hmm. or you say, I'm getting another job. Right. Uh, Congress and White House, they are all welcome to get another job. Please <laughs> do. Go out into the private world and do something. Um, but it, they're not losing money. They stop taking it mm-hmm. from the individual. Um, meanwhile, while this is going on, Putin just landed in North Korea, cut 16. There's Putin's airplane, and there's Kim Jong-un meeting him uh, on the tarmac in North Korea. Now, Mm. North Korea just violated the North and South Korean border with soldiers just this weekend. Nobody talked about it. They are also upping all of their missile technology and their nuclear technology. Putin is over making friends with Iran, China, in um, uh, North Korea, all of the known enemies of the United States. Now, North Korea is proud that they can launch missiles. What happens when they launch missiles, if they launch missiles, um, to the United States. What would happen? We know that if Putin wanted to get into a nuclear fight or God, God forbid at this point, you know, Biden wanted to get into a nuclear fight, they would all start fighting together, right? Mm-hmm. But they might use a proxy like North Korea to launch the first strike so they don't look like the bad guys. But if we respond I guess we could use Triton uh, nuclear-tipped missiles from submarines if we're around. But if they're launching missiles at us, we launch missiles. And the fastest way to North Korea from uh, North Dakota is over the polar cap and then through or over either China or Russia. What do you think that would start? I mean, Mm. we are dealing... we're just dealing with madmen, absolute madness. Really dangerous time, really bad. And we've got we've got a, a cadaver in chief who isn't capable of dealing with any of it. That's no. the good thing. I mean, no. And we we played the sentence he tried to utter yesterday. They're just I mean, you, it's it's terrifying. Uh, you can't terrifying. even understand Do you play what that the guy's again, saying. Play it. Play it again. Cut 10. Joe Biden, cut 10. Uh, from. Thanks to all the members of Congress and Homeland Security Secretary. I'm not sure you're going to do so. I mean, that is mad. Oh, my gosh. It's, that is. And he just, when the look on his face oh is terrifying. Yeah, it is. It is terrifying. And this is who we have running things. Yeah. Um, Meanwhile, as we are racking up another four hundred billion dollars, half a trillion dollars in deficit spending like it's out of control. Yesterday, we found out that more and more businesses, in fact, 25 percent more businesses already this year compared to all of last year. 25% more businesses have gone out of business already this year, and they're they're, they're claiming it is inflation and the Mm -hmm. high cost of things, which is absolutely true. Our consumer spending was only up 0.1% because people can't spend anything because the government's taking it all, spending it themselves, and running up inflation. And at the same time, what does the guy in um, 
uh, the mayor in Chicago want to do? It'll just play a little clip. Uh, I think it's cut 22. The sh- Chicago mayor, Brandon Johnson. Chicago still bears the scars of systemic racism and injustices that have been inflicted on our communities. We've seen them in highways that cut through black neighborhoods and the industries, of course, that flock to these neighborhoods, often contributing to increased pollution and poor health outcomes. Oh my gosh. We see it in the trauma. Stop. So what is he heading for? What is he, what is he driving at with this? He wants a, a, a committee to study reparations and mm. how, many, how much we can pay in reparations. They don't have any money in Chicago. Where are they going to get that money? And by the way, speaking of this, this this came out last week, and it drives me nuts. We should we should get Elizabeth in. Elizabeth, our makeup uh, artist, can you come into the studio for a second? Because the mayor, they just went through his um, you know his budget from last year. He spent for him. Oh yeah. He spent thirty thousand dollars on makeup. Mm-hmm. Last year, mm-hmm. hair and makeup. I mean, <laughs> look at how fabulous his hair was. I mean, it was uh, it's really thirty thousand dollars. <laughs> I don't think I'm on television every day, uh-huh. and they have to do makeup. I don't. I I want to know how much makeup you have to put on to spend thirty thousand dollars in a year. Well, he made thir- how, how is that? Possible? He made thirty trips to the business, so that's. A thousand dollars per trip, a thousand dollars for makeup and hair each trip to that business, and he thinks it's fine. It's it's fine for him to be. So did Lori Lightfoot, if you remember, uh, during the pandemic. Well, Lori Lightfoot, the previous I could, mayor, I could see. Yeah, right. I mean, yeah, that, that's probably a hundred thousand dollar job. <laughs> 